What's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can go from this to this. So you guys wanna see how I got this look, me talking about some funny stories that occurred to me this weekend and the struggles that I always have whenever I do makeup. Well, then definitely keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so the 35C Everyday Chic Palette is a palette that you guys would not necessarily expect me to pick up because it is gonna be a very, very soft, neutral eye palette. There's a lot of soft purples and pinks in here, which is really great if you're looking to do a very soft, glam, elegant look, something perfect for like a wedding look. So I saw this palette and I was like, damn, I'm not sure if I wanna get it, but the more and more I started, the more I was like, okay. This is actually really, really beautiful. Now, the best thing about this palette is it does have 35 shades in here. A lot of them are on the cool tone side. Don't mind my nails, they are getting done this week. And this palette also retails for $25, which is really fantastic for 35 shades and retails for $25. Now, like I said earlier, this palette will be perfect for like a wedding look, a date night look, a soft glam look, an elegant look, an everyday basic eye look. Like this is the palette that is definitely gonna be for you. I know for a fact, I really wanna play around with this shade right here. This is gonna be a pressed glitter shade and I really don't like Morphe's pressed glitter. I think that the formula is actually pretty crappy quality if I'm gonna be honest. Like my two, two favorite ever are the um, With Love Cosmetics, love them to death and the um, Tati Beauty palette. Like those are the best, best, best palettes around when it comes to pressed glitter. But I saw this is the only one that's in here. Everything else is gonna be shimmer shades mixed along with some matte shades. So I'm gonna use that pressed glitter today, but I'm gonna use a different technique where I'm gonna lay it down my lid with glitter glue to try to create the perfect elegant eye look. What I would actually wear on a date night with Corey, because right now we are still like in the middle of a pandemic and life seems to be turning back to somewhat normal. Like things are slowly starting to open very, very little day by day, but, but you still have to wear a mask. There's still social distancing. Like life is not gonna go back to what we knew for quite some time pretty much, but but I haven't gone on like a date with Corey in so, so long, but I just wanna do some makeup today, sit down and talk with you guys and do a makeup look that I would wear like for my wedding day or something I'd wear with him. Something that's super easy, super basic, something that's super easy, super basic, something you guys can follow along with at home, create such a beautiful, elegant look in such a limited time frame too. Like this look will not take you long whatsoever. So I'm gonna stop rambling on and we're just gonna go ahead and dive straight into the video. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. I don't know the name of it because I don't have the little insert. It fell out somewhere and I, I couldn't tell you where it went. And I don't like how Morphe doesn't put the names on the palette, but I can tell what, what, <laughs> what I can tell you is that I do love Morphe formulas. They work very, very well. I am gonna go in with this E6 brush right here. And this, like, this is more like a really sharp, like, angled brush. Now the reason why I'm using this is because when I took Michaela's class, she talked about using this to lay down like the darker pigment first, then using like a dense blending brush or like a fluffy blending brush to lay down the secondary color to, you know, mix it all together. So that's what we're going to do with this today. I'm going to start off with this. This is from Bling Brushes. This is a silver brush. Um, I do have a code. It's code Ally to save you guys 10%, which you guys already know. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to start to just lay it straight into the crease. It's okay if it's messy because we're going to blend it out later with a different shade. Um, but she also recommend not to tap off any of the powder because she said it takes away the formulation and the pigment. So you literally just lay down, even though it's like powdery, you don't want to tap off any extra, like extra. She said that no professional makeup artist does that. So we are not tapping off the brush today. Okay. So I do have a story to tell you guys. This past weekend, I was at Universal Studios. So first off, I got recognized when I was at Universal Studios, which completely threw me off because I was not expecting to get recognized. Um, so we were at IOA and a beautiful subscriber, her name was Mel. Hi Mel, if you're watching. Um, she had walked up to me, my best friend Alyssa, and at first she goes, hi, are you Allie? And I was really thrown off because she said hi to Corey, I think first, and then me. And at first I was like, yeah, like, how do you know my name? It didn't even click that I have 
a YouTube channel. Like I always forget, like when I'm in public, I always forget that like I have a YouTube channel. Like I don't, I don't think of myself in that way. I would never expect to get recognized, but she did. She was so sweet. She told me how much she loved my channel. She told much, she told Corey how much she loves the Florida Live channel, said that she loves his editing, that he does a great job, which really meant the world to him. Um, that someone actually, you know, record, like, you know, commented on his work. But I was like really shocked that somebody actually recognized me because like I'm wearing a mask. So how she was able to tell, I don't know. I think maybe she recognized Corey first because he has more of like a distinct like look like he has the beard, the glasses, the tattoos, and he's super tall. I'm super short. So it's kind of, I guess it's kind of easy to like <laughs> distinguish us a little bit. Um, but it was like, again, it was something that I was not expecting in the slightest. All right, I'm gonna blend out this shade by going with this corner shade right here. So I um, was standing there and at first when she had walked up, I thought she was gonna like yell at us because me and my best friend were like taking pictures with her kid over in Seuss Landing, but she just, you know, wanted to say hi. Literally, like I said, it threw me off. Like there was no tomorrow. But um, while we were at Universal Studios, we went to go on the Hogwarts Express to take us from one park to the other. And it had been raining all day because, you know, Florida, why would it not want to rain all day? And I had been wearing sandals because I knew it was going to rain. I didn't want my shoes to get soaked. So I was, I came prepared. I wore sandals and they had a wet floor, wet floor sign when you entered the platform. Like, God, look at that fallout. When you entered the platform, they had a wet floor sign and I, I guess I didn't see it. I don't know. All I know is that I was walking down an aisle and it was like 45 minute wait. It, the, the whole platform was full of people, but they're all like socially distanced between each row. And all I know is I was walking, I was doing this, and I guess my foot just went phew, like out, and I slowly, everything very slowly crashed down onto my kneecap, and I was like, bitch! I really want to do like this scene right here. Oh God, my fucking knee! That's my knee! Damn it! Shit! Oh man! Oh man. Literally took everything I had not to do that scene because I was so embarrassed. But I didn't care that people were laughing because like, I mean, hell, I was laughing at myself. But what I cared about was that my knee, my knee really hurt and I was playing it off. Like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. If the hurt guys in the other row like, are you okay? And I was like, hey, yeah, I'm good. And I was trying so hard not to rub my knee because my knee was just throbbing like a little bitch that it was. And I was telling Corey, I was like, oh my God, I realize that I'm not young anymore. The reason why I realized that is because this shit really freaking hurts. And my knee has been swollen and it's bruised right now. It's still is to this day and I've been icing it, whatever, but this shit freaking hurts and no lie. And I just, I came to the realization that I'm not young anymore because I can feel like as like a little kid, you can like fall on your knee and it have no problem whatsoever. You get back up, you scrape yourself, you bleed, you'd be fine. But as an adult, when you fall on your leg, you're like, oh my God, it's broken. I'm done. I can't walk handicap. Like, you know, it's just, it's, oh my God, it's not even, it's not even funny how, much of a difference there is between like a 20 year old body to a 30 year old body so the fact that i fell my leg and that shit really freaking hurt was a bit of an eye opener for me quite a bit of an eye opener for me because that that really uh that did a number on my leg and i was not expecting it so the rest of the day i had to pretend like oh no i'm good but deep down inside i was like crying because i was like this shit just freaking sucks and it hurts oh my god did it hurt but I wanted to like not say anything because it was my dumb fault and there was clearly a sign that I just was like, mm hmm, too, you know? So yeah, I um, fell down in front of everybody at Universal and everybody got to witness that. So there is that right there. I'm gonna go back in with the first shade just to deepen up the crease just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna take the M.M. Mitchell Acid Rain in the shade Blank Canvas to cut to my crease today. And I am taking it on my E4 brush from Bling Brushes. When I used to work at my job, and I say used to because I don't know when I'm going back, but whenever it rains, you see people like, oh my God, bust ass all the time. Um, I used to host at my location way, way back in the day before I ever became a server. And they, we used to have to put wet floor signs out, but people wear flip flops and they come into tile floor. So you can imagine how wet it was when it was raining. Then they step into tile floor and you know, it's soaked because everybody coming in and I'll never forget, I was hosting and this lady came in with like 
slip on flip flops okay i mean like i mean like slip on flip flops and she walks in and she completely like just bust ass i mean like just flat out flip backwards and i don't know i was probably like what 21 22 at the time i could not control my laughter physically could not control it it was just it was happening it was flat out happening could not control myself and my managers got so mad at me and they told me that i need to excuse myself and go in the back and i got in trouble for laughing because like obviously the guest saw me laughing but i mean i physically could not control that coming out of me <laughs> and yeah i got in trouble and i was told to go in the back and i had to like avoid that lady at all costs like for the next like hour and a half that she dined because she saw me laughing at her but i was like oh my god I couldn't control. I've never seen anyone fall like that in my life. It was like a true cartoon fall. I got in trouble. She was obviously okay. She just was super embarrassed. Like myself. So you know what? I would say karma came back and bit me in the ass and caused me to fall <laughs> in front of everybody yesterday. In front of like, God knows how many people were in there. But they all saw me eat shit. Just flat out. I wanted to taste the concrete in my face and my knee. All right, then we're gonna go in with some glitter glue. This is the next glitter glue right here. All right, then I'm gonna go in with this glitter shade right here and start to place that right there, right on top of that glitter. I'm gonna take my brush. All right, so I know it looks really messy right now and I need to clean it up because I know it's like a little messy. Um, I need to go back in. I literally took some makeup wipes to fix this part right here because it's just look, looking so patchy and I think I might have messed it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off the camera, fix this part right here, make it look better. And yeah, I'll be right back guys. Hey, <laughs> we are back because I tried to clean it up and I just thought that looked like pure butt shit. So what I'm gonna do now, because I literally just told you guys the whole story. I talked about the whole thing. I'm gonna leave that in because I like showing you guys what I have before and after to show you guys that like hey I mess up too. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to record myself putting on the um, eyeshadow. I'm not gonna talk. I'm just gonna kind of like fast forward through it. So you still know what I'm doing and what shadows I'm using. I'm still gonna kind of do the same thing. Only this time I'm probably gonna avoid the pressed glitter because I just really don't like their pressed glitter formula. But we're gonna go ahead and do like something very similar. Use similar colors and yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> gotta love this. So I will just fast forward and then we'll be back with the full face. guys and this is the final look so <laughs> what can i say about the 35c everyday chic palette well i mean at this point i have struggled a little bit with this palette i had tried to do a look that took me ages to do and up messing it up and so i ended up just doing just like a fast forward like 
time thing for you guys to see how I created the look that I have on now. I am wearing my Savage Look at Lip, but I'm also wearing the Celine Gloss from Luna Beauty right on top of it. Really, really love that. I'm wearing ColourPop Water Gel Liner. For lashes, I'm wearing my Kinder Lashes in the style Daydream. And then for everything else, it's kind of like the same basic step. But for the under eye, I actually went back in with these two shades. I went back in with like this plum shade and then this pink shade right up here. So what are my thoughts on the 35C Everyday Chic Palette? Well, if you are really, really into neutrals and soft glam, I would highly recommend this palette because it is 35 shades right here, cool tone, that are very easily to blend. They're so pigmented and they have a lot of like punch to them. And it's only $25, so you really can't beat that price for 35 shadows. Is it gonna be my everyday go-to palette? No. Now there are some people out there who really are gonna love this palette. Like I could have played with some greens, so I want to do some pinks and purples because you guys always tell me to do that. But I do enjoy this palette for sure. And this is something that I would definitely go back to to do like a really soft, like everyday date night look. And I know I went kind of heavy with the highlighter today. I am wearing my Jaclyn like bomb, uh, whatever this moonbeam thing. I'm wearing that as a highlight because I really just wanted to be like boom in your face when it comes to highlight. I wanted to be obnoxious with it. So I did go that with, I did go on that. I did go in with that and on my inner corner and brow bone as well. But overall, I do like this palette. Is it my favorite from Morphe? No, and it's not. I actually prefer my Morphe 24A main event palette than I do for this because this is just more of a rustic cool tone has pops of colors on them that I prefer more than I do this. The pressed glitter, I do think it's just really crappy. I do not like the pressed glitter. I did, I did set it with some glitter glue. I did not like how it looked. It just gets everywhere and it's not my favorite formula, but everything else, the shimmers have a lot of punch to them. I did mix the gold shade right here and this shade right here onto the middle lid. And then I use the shades right here as well. So it is a really beautiful palette, just not one I'm gonna reach for every day, but one that I would recommend if you're looking for a soft glam, elegant wedding style palette, this is definitely a palette for you to check out. And it's only $25, so you guys really can't beat that. And it's still available, 35 shades. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me messing up. Once again, a shocker. I mean, I literally show you guys the ins and outs when it comes to doing makeup that it's not always so easy. I've had some of you guys tell me in my comment section that you guys struggle with doing application and makeup. And listen, I just want to tell you guys, I'm right there with you. It's why I always show whenever I mess up or struggle because I want you guys to see that like, hey, I'm right there with you. I am not perfect. I mess up just as much. And I want you guys to see that. So, and I really appreciate you guys enjoying that. And I really, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed my falling and busting <laughs> my leg, my knee. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed that story. But um, yeah, guys, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, because I do post every day, every other day, except the weekends. And then uh, make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's all for the life. You guys can see my cool, wonderful, adventures, amazing fiance, Corey. And as always, guys, I just want to thank you guys for all your love and support. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. So I do need to. <laughs> I'm wearing a. Um, I'm wearing. I've had so many of you guys tell me in my comment section that it is. I've had so many. I have. I. <laughs>